Hi everybody, welcome to our second recipe from Bolivia. Today we're making cocadas, which is a really easy five ingredient coconut cookie with macadamia nuts. I can't wait to show you. These cocadas rock because they're only five ingredients. You mix them all in one bowl, put them on your cookie tray, and then you pop them in the oven. So we're gonna get started right away. We have three and a half cups of shredded sweetened coconut, three quarters cups of sweetened condensed milk, which we're gonna pour into here. All right. One egg. Pop this in there. And then we have one teaspoon of vanilla. And I have two thirds cup of macadamia nuts and this nut chopper. So what we're gonna do is uh, very carefully. Pour these nuts into the nut chopper. Can I do it? Yep, okay. Pop this lid on. And we're gonna chop them up real quick and then put them in our recipe. You don't want them to be super fine, but you don't want them to be full nuts either because the cookies are a little small. So a full macadamia nut in there would be a little bit too big. All right, so we chopped them up. I'm gonna pour that in here as well. And then I'm just going to use my wooden spoon. Oh, put my spatula away. <laughs> use my wooden spoon and mix them all up. The sweetened condensed milk in here is perfect because once sweetened condensed milk starts to heat up, it turns into more of a darkened caramel-ish uh, flavor. And so once you put these cookies in the oven, the um, sweetened condensed milk turns into caramel and it mixes really well with the coconut and the macadamia nuts. And it is delicious. So I think we're almost all mixed up here. You can use a cookie scoop if you have one. None of mine seem to be just the right size. So I'm going to get a little messy and use my hands and form these into um, some balls. It's going to make about 24 cookies. So I'm going to put them on this cookie sheet. And you just want to form them into, you know, little, they don't have to be perfect, they're a little, the, the dough is a little wet right now, um, but once they bake, then it'll harden, like I said, into a caramel and, and really harden them up a little bit. They're still pretty soft on the inside, but it's nice because once they're in the oven, they get a, a crispy bottom, um, which makes them delicious with a really good mixture of textures in there. This is the best part of baking, getting a little messy, and you get to lick your fingers at the end. I made these once on, um, a cookie sheet with four sides and then I made them once on a cookie sheet with open air so it only had one edge on it and then um, three edges without any sides and I found that they cook a lot better with um, with the cookie sheets with the sides on them because they they tend to stay a little bit more in their shape as opposed to an open air cookie sheet so my oven is preheated to 325 degrees and I'm gonna put the cocadas in for about 25 or so minutes. Keep an eye on them just because you wanna make sure that the bottoms don't burn. They can burn kind of easily. So check on them after about 22 minutes and it should take about 25 in the oven. In Bolivia, there's a custom called saltenia, which is a mid-morning break. So normally this mid-morning break includes a snack like coffee or tea and then a sandwich or something like that, but most often Our cocadas are out of the oven and they are ready to enjoy. I'm going to have a little taster bite of them here. I love the coconut in them. The macadamia nut adds a little bit of crunchiness and they are delicious and again they're so easy to make. If you want the written recipe, head on over to foreignfork.com slash cocadas. And you can also check out the other video from Bolivia, which is the Silpancho video from last week. Everybody, if you try these, leave a comment, let me know how you like them, and I will see you next week. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there, and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.